Hi guys, welcome back to the Player YouTube channel and today we're going to be reviewing the Ford Ranger Raptor, also known as the Euro Raptor, because that's what I've affectionately named it. This car puts the biggest smile on your face, trust me, I've had some real good fun with it. Let's check it out, let's have a look around it, let's get in the back and see whether it's value for money at just short of £50,000. The Ford Ranger Raptor isn't cheap. It starts at almost £10,000 more than the top spec Ford Ranger Wildtrak. Also, at just under that 50 grand, the sub one ton payload apparently means the taxman sees the Raptor as a car rather than a pickup, meaning companies can't claim back the VAT as an expense. I'm inclined to agree at this point for once that the government might actually have it right, as this isn't really a commercial vehicle. This is an off-road racer. It's a big boy's toy. And once you understand that, it all starts to make sense. The clues were there from the onset when Ford launched the Raptor at Gamescom, rather than at a motor show, making it the first ever vehicle ever revealed at Europe's largest video gaming event. The Raptor can also be found in the Forza game for Xbox and at Goodwood Festival of Speed, visitors to the Ford stand were invited to set lap times on arcade machines. So in other words, the Raptor isn't for lugging around bricks and cement mixers, it's for blasting off road through fields and forests, over deserts and across glaciers, as you would a rally car on a games console. Okay, so let's see what you do actually get for your money. Straight away, you get a Raptor badge. I hate that, I actually hate that. And there is one extra you can decide not to have if you don't want a big Raptor written down the side because throughout the car it's written in numerous other places. Massive 17 inch alloys, say massive, they're only massive because of those BF Goodrich tires which were specially developed for the Raptor itself. They're amazing. These big side steps, they're not a bolt on item. These are standard, they're solid <laughs> when you can get your foot on it as a rock. They're filthy dirty as well because we've had so much fun with this. Get these air intake or air X tapes, whatever you want to call them. Get these big massive arch flared arch kit on it as well. And another good thing about this car, if you'll notice, I don't know if you can catch it on camera, but underneath the back there, there's no leaf springs like the standard uh, Ford Ranger itself. So you've got independent suspension, coil suspension all the way around. So taking this off road is not a chore, it's a pleasure. It's absolutely amazing, trust me, I really love it. These big LED lights on the front here, double twin headlights on there. You've got massive great fog lights down the bottom here. And the pinnacle of all this, I love it so much, is this big Ford grille on the front. It's got so much more to show you around this car. Let's get on with it and take a look under the bonnet and inside. Okay, so huge differences under the bonnet to the American version of this, which is that V6 three and a half litre. Let's check it out. This is actually a two litre four cylinder engine. It's a, a twin turbo, bi-turbo, and it develops around 230 brake horsepower. But what matters the most with this car is the amount of torque. You've got nearly 500 newton meters of torque. This thing will pull the hind legs off a donkey. It's absolutely, it's just built one for, you know, for pulling and getting through some torrential, horrible crap when you're out there in the woods and the forest, if you actually use it for that. 10-speed um, gearbox. The gearbox was hashed between a Ford Mustang and the American Ford Raptor. They actually built a 10-speed gearbox out of those two, crunched them together and made this pretty good and very quiet and very slick gearbox. So it will propel you from 0 to 62 in around about 10 and a half seconds. It's not bad considering this car weighs two and a half tons. So it's really shifting. And trust me, it's great fun to drive. Um, the other thing which I do love about this engine is it does, it's not bad on the, on the emissions and also on the miles per gallon. So you're getting around 26, 27 to the gallon with this car. That's not bad at all, considering the size, the lump, the weight, etc., etc. It's all looking good so far. Let's check out in the cab and see how good it is and what Ford have actually put into the vehicle itself. 
let's check it out what the passengers can expect in the back of the Raptor. Well, first of all, they're going to get plenty of legroom and they're going to get tons of height in here. You could actually be seven feet tall and still sit in the back here with loads and loads of room. Um, the actual build quality is really good. You get this lovely stitching in here, which I've noticed is really nicely finished. And you sort of get a half leather, half Alcantara finish on it as well. You get a large sort of plug adapter where you can actually plug any type of plug into there so it's a 13 amp adapter there to take anything you want and you get a 12 volt next to it no usbs and no independent heating controls however one it's lovely and comfortable two you would easily fit three adults across here absolutely no problem at all you will also get when i can pull it down everything's so built in this it's like properly look at that it's really solid i love that double cup holder and a really nice armrest but the however and the big but is you can take this on the school run how cool are you going to look on the school run in one of these and the reason for that is because you get isofix points either side on here i love that let's check out in the front let's check out up front what it's like inside the raptor well getting in and out of it can be a bit of a chore but you do get these lovely big grab handles either side at the front and obviously you've still got that step that i showed you in the beginning um the seats well they're absolutely gorgeous they really are well bolstered and i love the fact that they get the big raptor sign on here as well you've got this nice stitching all the way around you get a quite a large glove box here it's a double glove box so the top bit is for your change and your bits and pieces and then the lower bit you just i was doing that quite well a second ago the lower bit is quite big actually and inside there's a little air vent so if you put your cans in there your juice or whatever you want it will keep it nice and cool as well i like that nice little touch two good sized cup holders here and one of the best bits which i love about this car a handbrake and it's a proper one and it sounds like a handbrake you actually feel like you want to do something with that it's really nice 10 speed auto gearbox we've already spoken about that on here there's the button for the two wheel drive four wheel drive high so if you're out on the high road and you need four wheel drive now i'm going to tell you quickly I was on a roundabout in this in two wheel high which is the normal one and all of a sudden the back started to go it was a little bit wet so i would advise when it is quite wet on the road if you buy one of these stick it in the four wheel drive high it doesn't hardly make any difference to the fuel consumption whatsoever and then there's four wheel drive low in front of that you've got your esp which is when you want to turn off the traction control on the left button in the middle is the differential lock which is great all electronic all easy to use and on the right hand side is your hill descent control system as well so you can actually park this on a hill and it will take you down no matter what the weather no matter what the surface at a nice easy rate fantastic under here you have two nice usb chargers there are two 12 volt adapters as well i mean everybody's thinking it's really well thought out this i love it keyless ignition let's get it started up because the next few bits i need the ignition on another thing i love watch what happens when i shut this door listen to this it's built it's solid the raptor screen eight inches of tft touch screen there love it starting down here where we've got the heating control system very simple to operate it's independent full air conditioning and then we've got a, a cd player in here as well dvd whatever it is no one ever uses those these days anyway because this car comes with um bluetooth and it comes with apple play and it comes with android mirroring everything's covered in this car so you just plug in and away you go nice tft touchscreen as i mentioned big eight inch screen it's well easy to use on the left it's just simple radio media whatever you're using climate control simple to use again you've got your phone connected up here nav system very very good indeed nice and simple to use i think that was developed in the states so it's going to be something that makes it simple to use no offense there paddles behind the steering wheel let's take a look at that well on the left hand side of the steering wheel you've got the different modes there are six different modes in this car and as you scroll across you'll see there's a sport mode i've been driving it in normal mode then there's like a grass mode and then we've got like a well there's all different modes. i mean it's brilliant and it sets it up so when you're off the baja mode i love baja mode i'm gonna be going across the desert love it so it will actually set those up themselves which is really cool 
On the bottom there, you've got the uh, volume up and down, which can control air, so you can also do it on the TFT touchscreen. And then you've got the telephone systems there and the voice recognition system as well. There's a lot gone into this, so although you're paying close to 50 grand, you are getting a lot for your money, because this is a decent steering wheel. I like the little red notch in the middle, that's for when you're off-road, obviously, and finding out whether you are back to straight again, which I love. Um, just talking about off-road very quickly, this will go up to an 80 centimetre wade depth. That's quite, that's quite large. And we might, if we get the chance, we're going to head somewhere after this. And if it's open, we're going to try and go for it and let you see whether it actually will do 80 centimetres of wade depth. On the right-hand side of the wheel, finishing up, we have the menu scroll button here. So this will actually allow you to set up your different menus while you're driving and what you actually see on here. So we've got speed, we've got the average fuel consumption, trip timer, all the usual bits on your trip computer there. And below it there is your cruise control system, which is very easy to use, and there's also a speed limiter as well. All in all, what a lovely place to sit. That is all I can say. Everything is simple and easy to use, and it feels strong and built and solid. Get out and give one of these a test drive because I think you'll be pleasantly shocked when you actually get behind the wheel of one of these. Now all we have to do is get this thing out on the road and give you the feedback of what it's like to actually drive one. So here we have it guys, we're in a forest environment. It's pretty muddy and pretty deep and puddly and loads of, <laughs> it's just lots of ruts and potholes here. This car behaves impeccably off-road. It is incredible. I've had so much fun in it over the week. And, you know, just putting this into the four-wheel high is more than enough in most situations. Let's get this moving because I want to get it out on the main road as well to explain to you how good it is in both environments. When it comes to price, well, as I said, this car starts at £49,000 and the entry-level Ford Ranger will start at just £25,000. So there's £25,000 difference. So what you have to weigh up is, is it worth paying that extra money? Oh my God, is it worth paying the extra money? One, you get that absolute surety when you're in tough condition. If you do want to go off-road, then it is just, as you can see, phenomenal. I mean, you can just fly through anything without even worrying. And trust me, I have put this thing through its paces. But then when you come up to a road, which I'm about to approach now, apart from these last few nasty potholes, you get a completely different feel to the car. You have an instantaneous drop into the two-wheel drive, which I've just done down there. Now you're into two-wheel drive in comfort mode, in normal mode. There's six different modes on this car, so there's so much to choose from. And then pulling out onto the road, now you've got the power and you've got a lovely car to drive. And trust me, I've had it on you know, long distance, motorway, dual carriageway. It just cruises along, set the cruise control, and it just blasts its way along. It's really, really comfortable. I think I mentioned earlier, she's getting around about 26, 27 to the gallon. We, we were told it was. It does around about 24.5, 25 to the gallon, this particular car. And they do vary, each individual car. Some you get a little bit more, some a little bit less. And I've got to admit, I have been playing around with this car because it's just one of those fun cars you just can't help not playing around with. I've had my young son and his buddies in here, you know, teenage kids, and they're like, wow, what a car. So just street cred alone, that extra 25 grand is so worth it. It's available in six colours. You do pay a few few pounds extra or dollars, whatever you're buying it in, for different colours. The, the blue looks absolutely stunning. You pay around about 600 pounds. That's about $1,000 extra for the blue. But it does look pretty special. Personally, I'd like this in black with blacked out windows and be an ultimate gangster in one of these. I think at my age group, you just got to enjoy yourself. This is a midlife crisis car. It's amazing. So even, you know, if you're going to actually use it for work, yeah, general all-round car, absolutely on the money. This car does not fail in any way, shape, form or fashion. It has impressed me, but above all, it's put the biggest smile on my face. I just think the Ford Ranger Raptor is a super car. Check it out. So don't forget guys, if you've enjoyed what you're watching and you want to see more of what we do, it's simple. Just click the subscribe button down the bottom. And don't forget to leave the little bell thing unchecked so it reminds you when we put a new video up. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, like, and comment as well. Love your comments. I'll catch you next week with another car. This is AJ signing out. I love this car.